team bonding. It's important for any Olympic team, but our Canadian hockey players are about to get very up close and personal with each other. Live to Roger Peterson with the cramped living quarters awaiting them in Sochi. Roger. Gore, this is what the NHL players are probably used to. Parties like this. You've got the Stanley Cup in the middle of it all. Of course, it's a big Rogers unveil event for the NHL and what they're going to be doing with it. Great fun. You know, the players are used to staying at five-star hotels like the Four Seasons. But in Sochi, they'll be staying sleeping side by side and in some cases side by side by side. So... Gold may hinge on whether the players bring good earplugs to block out all the snoring. That's where we sleep. That's where you're going to be sleeping. I was just getting... Three together? Yeah, this ain't the Ritz. More like the pits. Three wee beds for three big men. Three millionaires to be exact. Trapped in one very tiny room. Wow, that's some tight quarters. <laughs> so nice and tight, I hope. Uh, I guess we got to spend some quality time together. <laughs> yeah, I like my teammates, but it looks like really close, the bet to each other. It's fun when you're with the guys and you just hope you don't have anyone that snores in, in the room. So that's my only concern. Our hockey heroes will be staying in the Olympic Village, just as they did in Vancouver, which means they'll be bunking together in these cramped rooms, much like all the other more average athletes. Most of the dorms have three beds packed in side by side by side, Others, well, you could call them luxurious, sleeping only two to a room. I guess it's all part of the uh, whole Olympic experience, and uh, again, I'm not going to let, not let much ruin my time over there. In, in short tournaments like that, when you're around the guys, the more the better, so um, you know, hopefully looking forward to getting a chance to, to be in a dorm like that. So what happens when nature calls? The bathrooms uh, fairly sparse as well, sporting only a simple toilet, sink, and bathtub with shower curtain. Of course, that's downright luxurious compared to the side-by-side -side toilets discovered at some of the other Olympic venues. I don't know, it's Russia. <laughs> <laughs> You're not surprised. A little bit, but not much. But there is a silver lining, hopefully a gold lining, for our hockey stars. If their roommate is snoring and it's keeping them up at night, they can always escape to the balcony, which does boast quite an incredible view. So it's a little spartan now. The NHL break for the Olympics begins on Saturday's the last game. Then Sunday, all the players who are going head out. Now the games, the hockey games, men's ice hockey, they start on Wednesday. And Canada's first game is against Norway on Thursday. Live from the Mattamy Athletic Center, I'm Roger Peterson.